Well, hey y'all, welcome back to Doug's Cars. Welcome to my 100th video. This is the 100th video that I've uploaded to my channel. How awesome is that? It was gonna be about the Jeep Grand Wagoneer or Wooderson, but I just got a message that there's an Austin Healey 3000, a Mark III, a 1967, final year of production, that's available to look at. So, hey, I, I can't turn that down. I gotta go see this Austin Healey. Uh, I mean, I've seen it in person, but I've not had a chance to review it. So let's take a look at the Austin Healey. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, this is really going to be cool. Well, here she is. Last model year of production. Wow. Look at that wooden dash. Now, who would sit in the back seat of this thing? Nobody. <laughs> oh, wow. So it's actually got disc brakes. I wonder if it has... Nope, it has drums in the back. But this was the last year of production, so it had the upgraded 150 horsepower, three liter six. That was all the power in the world back then, and now it's something we would laugh at. I mean, my i3 has 20 more horsepower than that. I'm trying to find the uh, hood release, and yeah, it's on the passenger side. I'm sorry, mono release. Oh, so it tips back, okay, yeah. nice. Yeah, there's that big straight six. It's got some heat coming off it. Twin carbs. And where's the... Uh, it's back a little bit. And... Nice. Radiator. Simple fan belt. But man, look at that. Uh, that font. Or, or the script, I should say. It's just really cool. It smells good. It smells like a car should. A little whiff of oil. A little heat. And this is what the trunk looks like. Got the rear mounted battery. And it does have a mat on the floor. Austin Healey. Pedals are very strange on this and very close together. First gear is straight ahead. You don't really need to give it too much gas to take off. This thing has so much torque for the size of an engine. It sounds so good. Just listen to that exhaust. So nice. Wow. Definitely does not have modern brakes. I will give it that. But it does stop. But the brake pedal is so close to the accelerator that it's hard to find. At least for me, my size 12 shoes. This does drive so well. I was talking with Troy here earlier and he said it ruins it for all of the other like so-called high performance convertibles of that era, the Italian ones and all that. It's just got so much power and you can kick the back end out so easily. I can't really do that in this neighborhood that easily, but uh, wow, what a fun car this is to drive. I highly recommend it. You get the chance. You can really get in trouble on this. Yeah. Wow, they're so close together. Yeah. Wow. They come in. I'm wearing my 
save the manuals, drive manuals t-shirt. This definitely makes you want to drive a manual. Brake, 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 brake. Are these not power brakes? No. Yeah, that's why. I don't think I've really ever driven a car that's not power brakes. It's nice, actually. Yeah, I mean, it stops. Yeah. And it's got front disc brakes, which is slightly unexpected, considering it's a 67. But it is a British car, so they were a little head on those things. It sounds so nice. So glad I got the opportunity to do this. You can't see anything out of the mirrors because they're mounted way ahead on the wings. I guess you could adjust them, but not while you're driving, that's for sure. fun drive. I want to do that again sometime. Highly recommend it. Well y'all, I hope you enjoyed the Austin Healey 3000. I know I sure enjoy driving it on those curvy roads around the river. Don't get to do this as often anymore because of this uh, stupid virus. But I'm going to keep making videos as long as I can. Hope y'all stay safe out there. Thanks for watching Doug's Cars. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that button. Have a great day. I'd also like to point out that this Austin Healey is currently for sale on Bring a Trailer and I'm going to link to the auction below. So if you're watching this video when it's brand new and you like this car, check out the auction. Maybe this could be yours. I highly recommend it. <laughs>